I'm sorry, I was cut off there, uh, but I'm continuing on now with the last few slides from part two of the um, lecture from I'm sorry, I was cut off there, uh, but this is Jeff Weiss now continuing with part two of the Unit 8 lecture from uh, HRT 211 Intro to Plant Propagation. So these uh, stock plants that I was talking uh, about earlier are subject to uh, uh, good care so that they can be uh, correctly uh, maintained and, and productive uh, for uh, many years. Uh, but they can also be um, subject to manipulation in order to uh, optimize the condition of the cuttings that they produce. And I guess the classic example is the poinsettia, which is probably the most important uh, uh, plant that's produced uh, for, from cuttings, at, at least economically important. Uh, greenhouses around the country and around the world are busy producing poinsettias for the uh, winter holiday season in the northern hemisphere and uh, they are uh, manipulated for photo period so in order to have uh, the poinsettias at the peak of their um, uh, December colors the photo period needs to be uh, carefully manipulated leading up to that season uh, with other uh, uh, stock plants uh, they are subject to various uh, levels of exclusion of light from uh, etoliation, which is the complete um, exclusion of light, to various uh, types of shading, to artificial light, or to banding, which is uh, exclusion of uh, light from only uh, certain parts of the plant. And uh, the, these uh, manipulations are used to produce the um, uh, desired uh, cuttings and the desired uh, features uh, uh, for the crop being produced. Uh, other um, uh, stock plants are uh, manipulated for the nutrient levels, uh, especially for nitrogen, uh, so that they are uh, 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 going to be productive and the cuttings are likely to uh, have the highest probability of success and in other cases these plants are girdled in order to uh, create the wounds and the flow of hormones uh, desired uh, at the time the cuttings are ta taken and in other cases uh, the at even the atmosphere the uh, especially the level of uh, carbon dioxide is enriched uh, to uh, produce the peak conditions for these uh, uh, cuttings. So quite a bit of uh, research, uh, science, and practice goes into uh, production, uh, commercial production of cuttings. And that leads to the discussion question for this week, which has to do with the seasonality and why it's important for various kinds of cuttings. Um, I'd like you to research a specific plant and describe uh, the best method and timing for cuttings for that plant. And the consequences uh, of what might happen if they're taken out of season. Um, and in some cases um, we are surprised and plant cuttings uh, succeed even if they are um, taken out of their uh, out of their best uh, uh, seasonality. So please uh, do a little research and uh, present some interesting findings uh, uh, on a particular plant. Uh, this assignment is not applicable to CLC students. We're going to be doing uh, uh, divisions in a future lab session on campus. And for Unit 8 lab uh, we will be uh, grafting apple trees. Uh, last time we practiced our technique uh, called the tongue and groove technique or whip and tongue technique. Uh, this time we'll be uh, uh, taking the cuttings, doing the graft, and potting them, uh, potting them up for uh, uh, 
hopefully uh, grafted trees that will be used to establish a new orchard on our uh, CLC Grace Lake campus. So with that, I will uh, uh, conclude my remarks and hope that this uh, lesson was helpful to you.